Well, hello there everyone, David your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again. Well, today is another microwave meal uh, review. I was in Asda recently and in the, one of the freezers was a Heat Me, Eat Me, Donna Meat and Chips. That almost rhymes, doesn't it? Thumbnail, done. So, basically what it is... Blah blah blah, waffle waffle, we want it to taste great, whatever. Um, now, I've had a, quite a few of these uh, microwave Donna Meat things. They're not brilliant, the Donna Meat isn't great. But, it fills a gap. So, but I saw these, cost a pound. So I'm not exactly holding out for them. Um, the chips are apparently 60% potatoes. Uh, sunflower oil and dextrose. And I thought there'd be more potato in chips actually, to be honest with you. But obviously not. Then we have the Donna meat, chicken and mutton. Never knew there was chicken and Donna meat really, to be honest with you, but I know a good Donna meat is usually mutton, like a mutton pie which I did earlier on, which had beef in it for some reason. Uh, I've actually got my wrong glasses on, so I'm not absolutely brilliant at this. This is more luck than judgement. It's 165 grams in total. And it takes, apparently, two minutes, then add the done and cook up. Remember, read the instructions, not just the times. Blah, 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 blah. Cooking appliances vary, of course they do. Cook from frozen. Open the bag of chips and empty onto a microwave plate. Ensure the chips are spread out. Place the tray of donna meat beside the chips. Place a tray of donna meat on the plate beside the chips. Refer to the table for cooking instructions. Well, it says here, cook on full power for two minutes. Spread donna meat on top of chips and cook for a further minute. Then serve with a chilli sauce over the donna meat. So does that mean I put the Donna meat in originally? Guess it does. We'll soon find out, won't we folks? So, open up the box, like this. And it comes in a wee box. So, even remember my scissors again this time. Instead of trying to look like an idiot pulling the thing apart. Slide that out. That looks quite, nice, quite interesting. There's the sauce frozen to the thing, and there's the meat in the bottom. So, I'm glad it's a snack and not a meal. How many chips have we? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven semi decent sized chips. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sort of wee bits and crumbs. Hmm. Well, it's not going to fill me up, I know that for a fact. That's kind of it spread out on the plate. Well, I'll have to find space now as well to put this on the... It says spread out the chips but add the box at the side, so... 
That's not really going to happen. I've got a feeling the timings are going to be slightly out on this, folks. But I'll pop this like that in the microwave. For this egg. Right, I sit in for two minutes. <coughs> um, being honest, I'm not really holding my breath for this. It's it's the standard, you know the right, I'll put it so it's not rustling. You know the standard sort of microwave uh, donna meat that you get. It's probably never seen a donna spit in its life. It's just probably made into a sausage and sliced up. It's kind of like that. Um, It'll never be a proper uh, chippy or donor shop, you know, kebab shop or something like that. Um, but for a pound, it's worth a try, isn't it? I suppose. I mean, there's no harm in giving it a go. So, what's the worst? Stick it out for the birds, stick it in the bucket. I mean, it looks edible. I suppose that's, I mean, you see it there, I mean, I suppose it looks edible. We'll soon find out. I mean, I've eaten, well, let's just say I've eaten a lot worse. As some of the folk who made my uh, cheese, marmite, and Branson pickle toasty will verify. I don't know what they're so wrong in that. I mean, that's just a lovely wee toasty. But, heat me, eat me. I suppose it's a nice. Uh, Way to remember it, eat me, eat me. I've got another one in the freezer, it's a heat me, eat me burger and chips. <sighs> that could be interesting. Cause I've never really got on well with just, you know, the, the bog standard frozen uh, burgers, they always seem kind of chewy. But what I usually like to do is get the ones that are just chilled, bung them in the microwave but toast the buns. I don't think you can do that. Right. Ooh, there's two minutes up. Let's grab this. Alright. Taking it out, it's very anemic chips still. Still quite cold. They're not frozen, but they're definitely not thawed out yet. The meat, hi ya boy. Let's just say the meat is definitely taken on some heat but the fact that it's about two mil thick ah. I just said that was pretty much ready for the meat but no it's to go back in for another minute it's already started to burn slightly so I'm going to cover that bit that's burning that's what that looks like now, for another minute. Right, that's in. Now, this sauce is still quite cold. It's still icy, but it's slowly starting to move again. Oh, that's nice on my fingers where I burnt it from the meat. Ooh, yeah. Right, well that's squidgied up a bit, that's it's now loose again. Let's get it ready to put it on. Right, that's almost ready. 20 seconds to go. Oh, the excitement, eh? <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see me better with this. It looks a lot better on my wee screen. Uh, I've got an overhead light. Uh, fitted onto the camera now because I was noticing that the windows at the back of me were kind of making me a wee bit darker so I've put the light on and I wonder if it's a wee bit strong at the moment I'm going to turn it down a little bit in a second you know, for the next video because I'll try and keep consistency through this one but we've had the magic bleeps folks now to see what this actually tastes of
Yeah. Um, I have to say they are the most anemic looking chips I have ever, ever seen. <coughs> I'm just going to take the meat off this a minute, because that is actually starting to burn on the sides. It's so thin. That bit there is really starting to go crispy on the edge as you can see. Those chips are going to have to go in for a bit longer. They aren't even edible at that, I don't think. They still look raw. That over there. I mean... That one's actually still hard. So, I'm going to stir them around the plate a wee bit. Oh, they're still solid in the middle, they're not even edible. So, I'll bung them in for another minute. We'll see if an extra minute in there helps because those chips are. they're just. they feel hard. I've just tried to put a fork in them and they're absolutely solid. You know, just uncooked. So. We'll give it a try, but as I say once again, I'm not exactly holding my breath on this one. The wee kebabs that they do, I don't know about this company, but I got found one in Home Bargains the other day for a pound. That was edible. The sauce on it was really, really good. The meat was bleh. The bread was kind of sweaty when she'd microwaved it, but once you took it out and allowed it, you know, turned it a couple of times, got some of the moisture off it, it was, it was alright. Five seconds to go, eh? Things I do for you guys. <laughs> right. Being honest, it hasn't helped any. Plate's sweatier. The chips look. Well, oh, let's try one of the chips. That hasn't stuck together with the other one beside it. I'll have to take two. Once again, we heat it up and then we take it out and blow on it. Makes sense, eh? Taste brilliant, I have to be honest. But I'm going to pop this meat back on. Yeah, it's definitely dried out the edges of it. Hopefully, the chilli sauce will help. I'm just going to cut the corner off that. Pour it all on. Anything to help this, because I've got. I'm really not. I might be surprised. To be honest, if it's actually good, I'll be shocked. That's what it looks like. The chilli smells exactly like every other chilli I've smelt on these things. Got my knife and fork. Um, mix that around a bit, get the sauce on everything. Can you tell I'm just trying to put it off? Alright, a chip, a bit of meat, a bit of chilli sauce. Wish me luck folks.
Um, trying to really find words to put into this. Um, let me try another bit. can I see? The chips. They just have not worked. They taste undercooked. They're anemic. They're sweaty. That just, they haven't worked. Put it quite blunt, they're, no. The meat. What can we say about the meat? Bits of it have burnt on the edges. Bits of it have just sweated. Taste wise, it's not the worst of the uh, these micro donors that I've tasted. It's not far off. But it's not the worst. The chilli sauce? Now that's good. I will definitely give it points for the chilli sauce. Oh, cheers by the way folks. It's only apple juice, but it definitely gets the taste out of your mouth. Um, I really don't know what to say about this, other than, will I buy it again? No. Is the answer to that one, quite simply? No. Out of ten, I'll give it a two. And that is predominantly for the chilli, because it is really quite a nice chilli. got a lovely taste to it, there's plenty of heat off it. You can feel it tingle in your tongue after just a little bit. Um, the chips are just horrendous, to be quite honest. Absolutely horrible. As I say, the meat, I've, I've tasted worse meat. I can't quite remember when or where, but I've definitely tasted worse. But as I say, it's a chilli sauce that saved this. Or otherwise it would have got maybe half a point. But I'm not going to waste it, I will eat it. Um, typical Scotsman, I'm not wasting a pound. Um, it'll fill a wee gap. But to be honest, that is pretty much it, it'll fill a gap. It's not good. As the try and find somewhere that actually makes these things that taste good. The same with all of you folk that put these things on. Try and make them taste decent. You'll sell a lot more. That was not brilliant, I will be honest. But thank you for watching if you've got this far. Um I'd really appreciate it if you haven't already, if you hit the red button that says subscribe, it'll let, hopefully it'll give you some advance notice on when I'm actually putting these up. Um, if you hit the bell beside it as well, YouTube might actually send you a message saying that I've put up a video. This is coming back on me already. It's bad enough eating it once and having a burp and it coming back again. Um, if you'd like to click the like button, we just tell YouTube that I'm actually doing something. And hopefully I'll talk to you all quite soon, because I've got another couple of these to come up. 
So, I hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all soon. See ya!